This video is brought to you by Webcar Studio. If you need a landing page, CRM, or any web application, please contact us at hi at signwebcar.xyz. Hi everyone. Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we are building a search API with Django and Elasticsearch. My name is Ali Kampani, and in this channel, I'm going to talk about Python, Django, Vue, and everything related to programming. Please watch to the end of the video, and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. First, let me give you a brief introduction about Elasticsearch. What is it? Elasticsearch is a search engine based on Lucene library. It provides a distributed full text search engine with an HTTP web interface. Okay, but why do we need Elasticsearch? Because compared to relational databases, Elasticsearch allows us to search and analyze huge amounts of data really, really fast, near to real time. But this is only one uh, of its features. It has so many use cases, such as logging and log analytics, uh, security analytics, uh, container monitoring, business analytics, and the list goes on. Now let's go to the VS Code. I already implemented the bare bone of the project in order to save time. I created a Django project and added an app called Movie, created a model called Movie inside it, and imported a list of IMDb movies into the database. I use Docker because it makes life so much easier and we don't need to install and configure Postgres and Elasticsearch ourselves. If you are interested to learn about how I configure Django and Postgres with Docker, please make a comment and I create a video about it. So the first step is to add Elasticsearch to Docker Compose file. As you can see, I installed Elasticsearch version 6 and I set discovery type to single node because we don't need multi multiple node clusters in this tutorial. I also make API service depend on Elasticsearch. Now let's run our containers. Since I already built my containers, uh, I don't need to add build command. And after that, let's test to see if Elasticsearch container is up and running. And yep, it's running. Now we need to install the libraries which we are going to use. Because we are using Elasticsearch version 6, we need to make sure the version of client libraries are also 6. It's very important. Now let's modify Django settings and add these packages into installed apps. I'm also uh, adding Elasticsearch configuration. To make our movie model work with Elasticsearch, we need to first create a file called document inside our directory and import dependencies inside it. After that, let's uh, add a class called movie document, which is a subclass of document. Next, we need to create index class inside it to define the document's name and settings. We set the number of shards and replicas. Uh, but what is shards and replicas? Basically, an index can potentially store a large amount of data that can exceed the hardware limits of a single node. To solve this problem, Elasticsearch provides the ability to subdivide your index into multiple pieces called shards. And replica is basically copies of shards that Elasticsearch creates for backup purpose. After that, we need to create a class called Django and inside it we spe specify which Django model we need for this document. And also we specify the fields. The last step is to register the class using registry.registerDocumentDecorator. To create and populate the Elasticsearch inside, uh, index, uh, we need to execute this command. But uh, since uh, we are uh, configuring Elasticsearch inside Docker, uh, we need to run this command. 
Okay, it successfully ran. So now we can go to Django's shell and make a query to the movie uh, document. And it returns results as we expect. So now that we created the index, let's use it for our search API. First, we need to create a serializer. We import document serializer class. After that, uh, we are creating the serializer class. As you can see, it's similar to common Django REST Frameworks serializer, but instead of the model, we set its document. Now let's define our view set. First, I import some new dependencies. After that, I'm creating our new search view set. We need to set filter backend classes that we are going to use. For this tutorial, we only use search filter backend. And finally, we must add a URL for this view set. It's plain and simple. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's check to see everything is working. I used a curl to test our API, but you can use Postman if you like. Let's say we want to get information about saving Private Ryan's movie. So we should search it like this. We must specify which field we want to search. In our case, we want to search on titles. And voila, it returned the data. But as you can see, it returns the data a little bit unreadable. So let's make it pretty like this. The cool thing is that although we search Private Ryan, it also returns movies that uh, their title consists of uh, only private or only Ryan, somehow like Google search. So we created the search API with Django and Elasticsearch. But as I said before, Elasticsearch is a very strong tool and it has many more functionalities. But uh, for this video, it's enough. And uh, until the next one, goodbye and have a nice day.